for which values of x will this sum exist? What is special about this sum? We are going from k is equal to 1 to infinity. We can only calculate the sum of infinity terms if the sum is convergent. Because if it is divergent, then we can't calculate the sum to infinity because it keeps on increasing. But if it is diverging, then we can calculate the sum to infinity. So let's take a look. We have 4x minus 1 being equals to k. The first term here, when we substitute k is equals to 1, we're going to have 4x minus 1. So that is a. And then when we substitute k is equals to 2, we're going to have 4x minus 1 to the power 2. And then after that, obviously, we're going to have 4x minus 1 to the power 3, so and so on. So we can see that the common ratio here is 4x minus 1. If you divide 4x minus 1 to the power 2 by 4x minus 1, you get 4x minus 1. So the common ratio here is 4x minus 1. And we're seeing that for these to exist, the sum from k is equal to 1 to k uh, to infinity, we need the ratio to be between minus 1 and plus 1. We add plus 1 on both sides. We get 0 uh, 4x less than 2. We just we have just added plus 1 on all the sides. Right. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4. 0 divided by 4, that is 0. And then 2 divided by 4 is 1 over 2. So when x, oh, x is between 0 and a half, this sum will exist, right? Because r will be between minus 1 and 1. The sum, or not the sum, but the series will be converging. So there we go, that is 3.1. And then 3.2, on the other hand, let's hear the stories. The figure below shows a pattern of five circles touching externally, whose centers lie on a straight line of length L units. The radius of these circles form a geometric pattern, where the radius of the smaller circle, well, the first circle, let's go ahead and make sense of our information, is three units. So for the first circle, uh, let's see, we have circles one, okay, let me zoom in, one, two, three, four, so that is T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. Right. So the radius of the first circle is 3 units. So we have R being equal to 3. And that of the fifth, the largest circle, is 48 units. Right. So R1 is equal to 3. And let's take the radiuses as our terms, actually. Okay. If we were to do that, we will see that T1 is equal to 3. And the fifth circle, T5, is equal to 48. Okay. And what are we looking for? We are looking for the common ratio. So let's go ahead and the common ratio of the geometric pattern formed by the radi of the circles. Okay. So R is equal to T2 divided by T1. But here we have t1 and t5 but that's not a problem let me show you why we just need to stick to the basics we know that a is equal to t1 right so a will be equal to 3 and then t5 is a r to the power 4 and this is equal to 48 so this is what we have we don't need to panic we can just substitute a into t5 we're gonna have 3 multiplied by r to the power 4 being equal to 48 so 48 divided by 3, r to the power 4 is equal to 16. So we need a number that multiplies uh, itself 4 times and give us 16. That is 2. So r to the 4 is equal to 2 to the 4. So r is equal to 2. So there we go. That is our common ratio, 3.2.1. And then now, 3.2.2, we want to determine the value of L. Determine the value of L. So L is made up of the radiuses of the circles, right? Okay, but take a look at something. We have L 
will be the diameter of the first cycle plus the diameter of the second cycle plus the diameter of the third all right uh, because and then the diameter is just equals to 2r so we can just calculate uh, the sums of the radiuses of the five cycles and multiply that by two okay take a look at this we know that a is equals to now i mean 3.22 we know that 3.2.2 a is equals to 3 and r is equals to 2. so um we can calculate the sum with these two variables right s uh let's see s5 the sum of the first five cycles will be how do we calculate the sum of a uh, the sum when you're given a geometric series uh, that is finite i think it is a r to the n minus one divided by r minus one okay let me just verify this uh, before i make any silly mistake um i think this is one of the very few times i actually verify for now. okay it is correct no issues so let's carry on and uh solve that okay we are back here so a is s5 a is 3 r is 2 uh, the number of terms is 5 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 okay so let's take a look we have 3 to the power well not 3 to the power 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 5 um minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 and uh, this is 93 um we can actually do this manually also and see if it is correct we can actually do this manually instead of using an equation right so that is 3.2.2 we're not done because this is the sum of the radiuses and we are seeing that uh, the diameter is equals to 2r because l is the sum of the diameters so d will be equals to 2 multiplied by s5 this is the sum of the radiuses and we are looking for two times that that is what l represents the diameter of the circles so we're gonna have 2 multiplied by 93 is that 186 uh there we go d not d but l please um forgive me for that so l is equals to 186 uh, units we don't have uh, we don't know which units uh, we are using here but l is equals to 186 units uh, i think uh, we are quite happy with that we can move to we can move to what we can move to the equation that follows so let's go ahead and take a look um 3.2.3 the pattern is extended by five more cycles um to 10 cycles complete in terms of pi the total area of the cycles of the 10 cycles of the new pattern okay so now we no longer have five but we have 10 but what what is the equation for an area of a cycle well um the area is equals to pi r squared and we are looking for the area of the what uh, the first 10 cycles um so how can we go about that well the total area so let's say that the total area will be equal to the area of the first cycle plus the area of the second cycle up until the area of the last cycle i think we can all agree on that that is easy to see uh well area is pi r squared what am i what am i saying there right uh so area of first cycle plus area of second cycle uh up until the area of the tenth cycle right but we know that area is pi r squared so the total area will be pi r squared plus pi r squared plus up until the last cycle pi r squared once more so the total area right we can take pi as a common factor because pi is going to be the same and then we have r squared the first cycle plus r squared the second cycle up until the last cycle which is uh, we're gonna have another r squared so can we actually find the the answer to this using an equation can we actually do that let me check, take a look at the marker location the marker location is four um think about it can you actually 
find r squared plus r squared up until the last cycle using one equation obviously we can do it manually right but i'm just wondering if we can do it using uh, an equation well i'm not sure we can but you know uh, if you can think of a way then you should definitely try that out uh, so this is what i'm gonna do instead i'm gonna say pi and then i'm gonna do everything manually right uh, because i cannot find a obvious way to to do it so right uh we know that the radius of the first term is of the first cycle is three units so we're gonna have three units squared plus the radius of the second cycle um what was that the radius of the second cycle so we know that a is three and r is two so we have two to the power one if it is a second cycle so two to the power one we get six squared so let's have that there so we have six squared plus uh two to the power two that is 12 so we have plus 12 squared plus two to the power three that is 24 squared i think i can just carry on we can see the pattern here uh 24 multiplied by two is 48 48 squared and then multiply that by 2 again 96 squared by 2 192 squared and then by 2 again let me make sure that i don't have more than 10 terms so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay if you multiply that by 2 again you have 384 so 384 to the power 2 that is the eighth term Again, 768 to the power 2. And the last term, 1536 to the power 2. So, I just need to put this in my calculator. Okay, so I'm getting, is this 3,145,000? 3, 3, pi units squared as the total area of the tensor goes. There we go.